Look what I just bought. But wait, there's more. Oh, this you crazy mother... Where do I start with this today? My mind has been blown. I've had one of those days that I, I'm lost for words. I can't explain. So as you're aware, I was looking at doing a two door conversion on my VE. So I've been looking for bits and pieces to make it easier. And I came across this body on Facebook and I was arm and arm and do I do it? Do I want to cut it up? I ended up going and have a look at it this morning and I brought it home. It's too good to cut up. I don't really want to cut it up. But while I was there, tucked in the corner was this thing. And I brought it home. I went there for parts to make my Valiant a two-door and I came home with a two-door VG 770 original V8 car. Although it doesn't look like it right now, the car's basically complete. Those doors are those doors I had before. There's another set of doors for me for this car. So I've got a spare set of doors. Um, there's a heap of parts. I've got another ute and trailer load full of parts to pick up. Um, it's complete minus running gear and interior. You know what? It was too good of a deal to knock back and I've wanted one of these forever. This was the ultimate for me and the converting my Valiant, um, my VE was the compromise. So, the Valiant's not going to get cut up. Um, we're going to hook into this. It's an original 770 V8 car, hard top. It's the mustard color, which is my favorite color out of all of them, which is awesome. So that's the color it's going to become again. It's got a few little pieces of rust. So it had a vinyl roof on it at one stage. And this is pretty standard. And the beauty thing about this car, it's all apart. So we can get to this stuff and fix it. Same deal, there's a little bit around the back here which needs to be done which is pretty standard on these and it's all pretty basic work i'm not going to cut up that other body to fix this that was the initial thought oh, i'll just use those panels to fix this but that one up there is too good and this body's better than i thought it's ridiculously good apart from the just your usual spots that they rust and it's not bad really compared to ones i've seen before get a go at the floors they are perfect not a spot of rust so the story with this car is the guy I bought it from has had it for 20 years and he got it off a guy that was building it as a drag car. So what they've done, they've started to do the mini tubs in the back and all that sort of stuff. They've cut all that out, which is no big deal. The, the work that they've done to relocate the springs is perfect. It's really professional. So we're just going to make some um, wheel arches inside there, which is easy to do. Don't have to touch the floors at all. It comes with all the dash parts. It comes with doesn't come with the interior. It comes with the glass. I've got the winders. I've got the front of the windscreen. I've got the quarter windows. It's um, so many good bits. It comes with all the um, steel trim as well. comes with my favourite, the VE or the Dodge Dart front. So I've got a set of guards, a bonnet. He's got a grill there for me and the rest of it I can work out. Around the plenums looks really good. And the beauty thing about it, it's all stripped down. We can go through everything and check it all out and I'll just go through the rust. Um, the sills are perfect, inner and outer. There's a little bit at the lowers of the rear quarter, which is pretty standard on most. This guard's been beaten up. We'll fix that up. It's not terrible, but we'll fix it up. There's not even any rust in that one. There's a bit at the bottom of the sill there. And on this side, the rear quarter's almost perfect. Um, and there's just a little bit in the corner there, a little bit of rust. She's hardly got any rust at all. The big work is going to be replacing the metal they cut out of it. 
So I am somewhat excited. Looks like it's been used as a workbench. For bits and pieces for painting stuff, that's cool. Um, we'll end up just stripping all this paint off. We'll start again with that mustard paint. It's gonna be cool, I'm so excited. What do I do with this thing? It was like a two for deal. I bought this and I could buy that other one. So it's, it's in excellent condition. It's got a brand new quarter on this side. The other side is rust free. It is in excellent condition, but it's same deal. This was cut up to be a drag car and it was a clean car before they cut it up. I don't know how long ago. Um, what am I gonna do with it? I'm probably just going to hold on to it because if this was a Monaro, this body would be worth an absolute fortune and these things are starting to really appreciate in value. So it's probably something I would want to hold on to maybe and I could probably fix a bad one one day or sell it to somebody, do a trade with bits and pieces, I don't know, but like it's clean man, it's really clean. Initially, what I was going to do, cut the roof off, um, cut this panel out here because it's got the inner side, and graft all that onto the VE, but I'm not doing that. This is this body is way too good. You know what, if they didn't have that other car there, I probably still would have been hesitant to cut this thing up. So yeah, I'm glad I've got it. I don't really need it. I don't have anywhere to put it, but here it is. So yeah, uh, it comes with all the trim. There's more, I've got, I've got stuff everywhere. And there's still stuff in the back of my ute. I really just wanted to get my doors on it, throw them front guards on it, stand back and look at it, have a coldie, and just, I'm still lost for words. I don't know what to say, I'm pretty excited. So there you have it, a quick little video. I do need seats. What else do I need? I'm gonna need, I've got a motor for it. I've got a nice little 318 to chuck in it. I'm gonna need a gearbox, I'm gonna need a diff. Um, bits and pieces, if you've got anything, have a chat to me. It's not much different to how the, the VE was when I first got that. So yeah, it's kind of gonna be a similar process, I guess. There was no time at all this morning that I thought I'd be coming home with one of these. Yeah, I'm honestly lost for words. I'm just, I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't know what to say. So anyway, I doubt you're as excited as I am about it, but I'm pretty excited, really excited. <laughs> But that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers. I got if I know what I'm going to do with this stuff. I don't know where I'm going to put everything. What am I going to do with that body that's out the front? I've got no idea. Anyway, this is cool.